Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Pernula from Joan Stark. Now, I did not have the uh, pleasure of taking Latin or having even the opportunity to take Latin uh, in school. So I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, Joan says on, uh, has it written on her step out, the, it's the Latin origin of pearl. And I just think that's interesting. Okay, I love this one. All right, we're just going to do a bunch of C shapes connected together. Whatever shape you wish it to go in. I'm, I'm going to, oh, no, nope, I'm going to do it in a, like, kind of like I did in a step out. We'll just see, well, actually, we'll just see where it goes. <laughs> I'll make a bigger one than I did there but just one right after another where however you want it to go just like that okay then on the opposite side but leaving a little bit of a gap same thing and you just try to line up you know the the uh, it's really a valley if I'm looking at it this direction. <laughs> well, yeah. But I love this because you don't have to give too much thought to anything. And it just works really, really well. Now, for shading. Uh, oh, no, no. I'm sorry. There's one step. One little step. And it, it's, it's kind of hard to see. I made it rather thick so you could see it. But we'll close up this end and that end so however you have it just cl you can close up those ends and then then we'll do some shading uh, i like how joan put in hers um and i i did not put this in in mine um she put shade three to nine o'clock um so and then she she put you know the the time so if you're looking at an analog clock right 12 three six nine but what I decided to do is, however you, let me take, let me think for a second how I want to word this. Um, that works really well, but you can also think of it this way. Because in Zentangle, we don't generally worry about light source, things like that. If you pay attention to that, if you, you know, if you know art and you, you do that naturally, don't worry about it. But also know that you don't <laughs> that you don't have to worry about it so oh i'm gonna i'm gonna position mine this way so here's what i'm thinking because whichever way you want say up and you could just figure okay i'm gonna have my light source come from here then so i'm gonna picture this is kind of three six nine right but i'm just gonna do it in the same area regardless See here what I see what I see what I did there <laughs> went right over that uh, you know the opening, but just kind of keeping this C shape. Uh, I want to say level, if that makes sense. My my aim with a lot of this is because not having an art background and loving the simplicity of Zentangle and the fact that a lot of these things you know we don't do this we don't do that so. I want to make sure to like translate it into uh, a non-artist language, I guess. I don't know. It, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. You know, pick a direction and stick with it, regardless of what the shape is here. And I'm thinking that that also might be a way uh, to think about it. I like to give alter, al alternate, alternate uh, thought processes. <laughs> All right. And then with the tortillon, you know, just going over it to spread it, make a nice gradient with it. Like that. There we go. All right. Now, if you wish to add a little, I call it a swoosh mark because that's just what I call it. But you can do it just a little C shape. And it, 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 up to you which side. I kind of like it on the one side. I could probably flip it, I suppose. I don't know. I just like it. It helps. That is basically it. Now, of course, 
you know, you play and you can have it, have it, you know, you can, I'm actually, I'm going to add some underneath just because it's fun. And I'm going to add a small one. Let's see if I can do that with, without my hand in the way. Let's see if I can, yeah, do, we'll do a little, a little bit smaller. I'm trying to do this and air draw it so that way I get <laughs> well I don't know <laughs> get it uh, like kind of accurate as to what it would be if it was traveling under well <laughs> well actually if you get just get the one I'm being so silly if you just get the one set then the rest of it because you're just kind of lining up those points right like that <laughs> now this one I'm gonna do the same so I had here's here's where my my light was right oh I didn't connect although my my connections ran off the page which is fine there we go I, I got it close anyway <clears throat> All right, and I'm going to go lighter with this one. So I, and I'm holding it so that way my the tip of my pencil will be you know, where I want it the darkest. So if I'm aiming this way, there'll be the little there, and then there will be a little something else that we do with this as well. This makes me think of the um, oh I don't I you know what I'm sure there's a name and I'm sure. Well, I, I'm going to assume someone knows what I'm talking about. Uh, the, the, the plastic beads of when I was a kid and they would like pop together. Maybe they're called pop beads. I don't know. Um, that would just be too easy. <laughs> that was what was in my head. I'm like, no, no, it can't be that easy. Probably is. Uh, you know, because you don't really see a connection or I mean, or, you know, where, where it's separate. Where a lot of times, right, when we're doing pearls... You know they're separate or whatever but this is just a really neat um, easy way to do it and you know and it can be like a string of pearls and it can be kind of organic How, however your C shapes would you like me draw, finger drawing <laughs> however your C shapes go and then you can follow follow a line and then on top of it you don't have to worry about um, like I do a lot where, you know, I'm drawing a complete orb and then I always have the little tag or whatever. This is just, it, to me, it just kind of avoids some of that stuff. And that's why I think it's it's really neat. I was pretty geeked about trying this. Well, oh, that's, oh, there we go. I'm gonna put, oh, I have one other thing to do here. Add my little swoosh lines. That, well, th what I'm, what I'm going to add will take care of that one right there. If you're wondering. Because we have this going behind. So... Oh, but of course, we have to go darker. So I'm going on the outsides of the original one, right? And while I could have done that first, I kind of don't... One of the reasons that I don't do that is because if I put the graphite there as the normal shading would go... This is my, just my thought process... It'll be a little dark, even darker there, you know, where with the natural sh uh, shading that would happen. So it's kind of why I, I'll do this part afterwards just to make it more, um, I don't know, realistic or something. I don't know. Now it looks like a scent sign. <laughs> Does it matter? No. I can just add some more so it I don't know it doesn't need something well you know what it doesn't because it's fun Ooh, because you could I mean you could do whatever you want could and I'm going to aura yeah, I'm going to aura it because I think that would be neat. So starting within here and you don't know whatever you end up doing with it, you know, is up, up to you. Oh, I like it already. <clears throat> Sometimes just adding a nice little aura 
just finishes it off nicely. It's probably why, you know, the, um, if you listen at all to, uh, um, videos from Zentangle, uh, Rick, Maria, and crew, they will say, you know, when in doubt, aura, that it was like kind of the, always the saying that they had. And, uh, I think this is probably part of why, because it just, <laughs> it's just really, really neat. All right. And then you can do other things. You can add, you know, a background of, of your choosing stuff like that. I'm going to just, I'm going to, I'm loosely, very loosely, apparently going to add some graphite just because I think that's fun. All right. Well, if you have enjoyed this one, and I hope that you have, um, please click on the like button. And if you liked it enough to see more, would love to have you subscribe to the channel. We'll just add some extra. Um, in the description section, oh, sorry, I was leaving a little gap here, wasn't I? Yes, I was. Um, in the description section, you will find links to the step outs that I mentioned. Uh, also below those is my link tree where, as the name suggests, links to everything. Uh, so all my social media are amazing Tangle Addicts Facebook community. So if you would like to um, hang out with a bunch of, look at how, see, it's just neat. Actually, you know what? No, really, what it is, it's cut time in music. So there we go. That makes me, I like that but even better. <laughs> uh, so if you would like to hang out uh, with some uh, really neat people and t amazing tanglers, um, come and join us on Facebook if you're there already. Um, the, the link will take you to the group, but you don't gain access until you answer all four of the questions. And uh, it just kind of, it, it just makes sure that I have real people that are trying to get in. That's what I'm, that's what I'm finding. Um, and uh, let's see, like I said, it's a really, really fun group. Uh, I, I don't have enough amazing words for it. Uh, let's see what else of note, uh, just of note. Yes. I do classes twice weekly, Tuesdays and Thursdays, my time here in Michigan. Uh, that's Eastern time. And uh, a lot of them are free. So I have Thursday, uh, and I do them two times uh, on Thursdays, two times on Tuesdays. Same content. It's like double the fun. Uh, we have a lot of people that join us for both. It's a, it's <laughs> it's really great. Um, so you'll see information about that on my website. There's also a couple other links um, for where you can follow me. Uh, besides, uh, you know, Facebook, or if you're in the Facebook group, because I always, I do post things there. Um, but that way you can just, you know, see and have those reminders also to see it in your time. You can, you can see the classes on my website, but I don't, um, I don't quite have a, um, a function yet for registering just straight or directly. I'm using uh, those sites right now. So, um, or, you know, what? if none of them work, my email is in that link tree, so you can always email me and let me know, and uh, we'll figure something out. Okay, so I think that's it. If not, watch tomorrow. Watch another one. I'll, I'll, I'm sure I've added added something that I forgot, because um, I don't like to necessarily script things. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for watching. This is a great one, and I wish you happy tangling. <laughs>